athletics at the 2012 Summer Olympics Women's 1500 Meters. The Women's 1500 Meters competition was an event at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, United Kingdom. The competition was held at the Olympic Stadium from 6-10 August. The top two finishers were later found to have used prohibited drugs during this period and subsequently disqualified. The current silver medalist, Tatiana Tomashova, had served a two-year doping ban 2008-2010 for manipulating samples, and the seventh-place finisher Natalia Kirva and the ninth-place finisher Yekaterina Kostitskardia were later disqualified after being found guilty of doping. Summary The qualifying rounds were strategic, with the second heat notably slower than the first and third. Notable for not qualifying was World Championship bronze medalist in 2009 first finishing Natalia Rodriguez and Jensen Tabobar, younger sister of 10,000m gold medalist Turanish Tabobar. The semifinals were similarly inconsistent. In the first semi, the race was stringing out behind a last lap charged by Ethiopian-born Barney Mimi Belit chased by Slisaka Alptekin, the two leaders looking to be sure qualifiers. At the head of the final straight, Alptekin passed belief for the lead and Belit wilted, falling back through the field and changing the dynamic of the rush for qualifying positions, giving Shan and Robri a qualifying spot, while Hilary Stylingworth and Corona Har had to hope the second semi would go slowly. It didn't. Instead, the second semi final went out significantly faster with Tatiana Tomashova pushing the pace after the first 200 metres. With 600 to go, Gams Bulot passed Tomashova to accelerate the pace further. Abeba Arigal was stayed on Bulot's shoulder and sprinted past with 200 to go, stringing out the field, leaving reigning world champion Jennifer Simpson behind. The final started out slowly, none of the entrants wanting to take the lead. By default, Bulat and Mary and Yusuf Jamal found themselves in the lead, Jamal noticeably looking around for someone else to take the pace. The first lap was won, 15.12, literally a joke for athletes of his calibre. The second lap, slightly faster, reached in 223.97. The two shared the leading duties until the bell then both accelerated, with the field swarming to join them. Moments after the bell, Aragobi passed behind Morgan Yusini, who stumbled, her knee meeting the back kick of Yekaterina Kostaskaya. Just like her experience in the 2011 World Championships, Yusini found herself on the ground as the field was sprinting away from her, leaving her in tears. Alptekin passed Bulat with 300 to go. Aragotwi joined the lead group on the back stretch with Jamal and Bulat all jockeying for position behind Alptekin. Coming onto the home stretch, Jamal looked like she was in position to move past Alptekin, but she never gained enough. Aragotwi edged past Jamal with Bulat trying to close the gap. 20 metres before the finish, Aragawi suddenly slowed as she was passed by Jamal at the same time as Bulat passed them both. Doping and aftermath Suspicions about the race's legitimacy with regard to doping emerged almost immediately. Great Britain's Lisa Dobrisky, who finished 10th, felt fewer qualms about voicing her suspicions, telling reporters immediately after the race, I don't believe I'm competing on a level playing field. While refusing to accuse any specific athlete of PED use, Dobrisky added that people will be caught eventually, I think fingers crossed, anyway. In May 2013, several news organisations reported that Winnerously Sacker Alptekin had tested positive for a banned substance. As her second doping offence, she would face a lifetime ban if found guilty and be stripped of her gold medal. Neither the IOF nor WADA made an official confirmation of the positive drug test. On 28 July 2014, IOF announced that 9th place finisher Yekaterina Kostaskoya was sanctioned for doping after her biological passport had showed abnormalities. Her result was disqualified. On 17 August 2015, the Court of Arbitration for Sport approved a settlement agreed to by Alptekin and the Arof. Alptekin agreed to give up her 1500 metres Olympic title and serve an 8 year ban for blood doping. There was no confirmation from the IOC whether the medals would be redistributed. On 1 June 2016, Turkish media reported that Gams Bulat had also been found to have employed illegal performance enhancing methods by dint of observations of her athlete passport. It was reported that if confirmed, Bielot would lose her Olympic and European medals and all medals and records from 2012 to 2016. IOF sanctioned her in March 2017 by four year ineligibility and a disqualification since July 2011. In a 2017 story for US sports media giant ESPN, American competitor Shannon Robry, who finished sixth, indicated she suspected that several of her opponents were using performance enhancing drugs, but according to the story's writer Doug Williams felt powerless to challenge other runners even after the race, and it's a bit mind-blowing to think that half of the field shouldn't have been there to begin with. Fourth place runner Tatiana Tonishova received a two-year ban from 2008-2010 for manipulating doping samples. In 2016, the IOF reported that Ethiopian runner Abeb Ergawi, who initially finished the final in fifth place, had also failed a drug test, though she was reinstated in July. Other runner Natalia Kerver, 
who finished seventh in the final, received a two-year ban in 2014 for doping after her biological passport showed abnormalities. This voided her result from the 2012 Olympics. Russian runner Yekaterina Kostitskoya was also sanctioned for doping in 2014, disqualifying her initial ninth place finish. These developments meant that six of the race's top nine finishes were linked to PD usage. The aforementioned ESPN story called the race one of the dirtiest in Olympic history. In 2017, the IOC officially reassigned the gold medal to Mary Armies of Jamal, but pending the outcome of anti doping proceedings against several lower placed finishes, the silver and bronze remain vacant. In 2018, the IOC reallocated silver and bronze medals, upgrading Tomasheva despite her doping suspension. Competition format The women's 1500m competition consisted of heats round 1, semifinals, and a final. The first six competitors in each heat of round 1, along with the next six fastest overall, qualified for the semifinals. In the semi-finals, the first five in each heat along with the next two fastest overall qualified for the final. There was a tie for the 12th fastest overall time and both athletes qualified for the final, making a total of 13 athletes. Records uh, Schedule All times are British Summertime UGC plus 1. Date time ran Monday, 6 August 2012 11.45 round 1 Wednesday, 8 August 2012 19.45 semi-finals Friday, 10 August 2012 20.55 finals. Round 1 Qual. Rule. First six of each heat Q plus the six fastest times Q qualified. Semifinals. Qual. Rule. First five of each semifinal Q plus the two fastest times Q qualified.